encountered these amazingly intelligent and highly evolved worms, my initial thoughts were, what's the best way to kill them? Don't eat that turkey, you'll get worms. Ralphie's mom says that to his dad on Christmas morning. But these are the worms she's talking about. That'd be a delightful little surprise on Christmas morning. After you open all your presents, this thing drops into your lap. It'd be like second Christmas. Actually, it's, it's Worms Revolution for the PS3. You know, I actually haven't played much Worms in my life, but I gotta tell you, this game makes me want to. Revolution is the latest Worms title, and the first new one since 2010. Last year's Ultimate Mayhem was a remake, so you know, if you've been hungry for the Worms series, open wide and suck on this! So if you're like me, and only vaguely familiar with the series, this is how the game works. Worms is a turn-based war game in which two teams of slimy annelids try to destroy each other. The game takes place in an open level, and both teams can do pretty much whatever they want. You can walk around, get into position, launch a rocket, whatever. Just don't leave yourself in a vulnerable position. You know, worms have no skeleton. Oh. What I love about this game is precisely that, the freedom that's built into the combat. It's really open to whatever strategies you can come up with. You can use water to drown your opponents. You can drill through the ground and hit them from below. And every turn is valuable to be successful. Now, of course, that's always been the worm's template, so what's new in Revolution? Well, most importantly, physics. There are all kind of new objects littered all over the landscape. Things like lighters and containers filled with water. And these objects can have a huge impact on the war if you play your cards right. And again, water plays a huge role in Revolution, and it opens opportunities for even deeper strategy. But another big change, uh, and perhaps the biggest, is that this time the worms are divided into different classes, and each has unique abilities. There are scouts, which move fast but are really weak. And there are heavy worms, which are slow but can also deal huge damage. There are four types of worms, and you can put together your infantry however you want. That means even deeper strategy. I mean, forget the water, I'm, I'm drowning in strategy! Worms Revolution is a fantastic game. It pushes the franchise into a more modern place, but it keeps everything that made it great before intact. Its only changes are improvements, and with 32 levels and great multiplayer, you have lots of ways to strategize. I just hope your strategies are better than mine. It's Worms Revolution!